The coronavirus is now declared a public health emergency in the United States. Seven cases are confirmed in America. And starting Sunday, all foreigners who traveled to Wuhan, China, in the past two weeks will not be allowed to enter the country. Hello, everyone. I'm Mark Mullen. I'm Catherine Garcia. And any U.S. citizen who traveled from mainland China will be monitored and they'll have to quarantine themselves for two weeks. Here in San Diego, local school districts are being proactive about coronavirus, addressing parents' concerns. The San Diego Unified and Chula Vista Elementary School District say they're keeping an eye on students with flu-like symptoms. They're also asking students if they or anyone in their family has recently been to China. Administrators are encouraging students to stay home if they have a fever, shortness of breath, coughing, or sneezing. The U.S. government is setting aside hundreds of millions of dollars to help clean up pollution at the border. Local leaders gathered today in the South Bay to talk about possible ways to use that money. The $300 million, part of the newly signed USMCA trade deal, sewage runoff from the Tijuana River has led to hundreds of beach closures over the past several years. We know about the health concerns that beachgoers, that lifeguards, and Border Patrol agents face from exposure to pollution. But our Navy personnel, and especially our SEALs, risk training in contaminated waters. And the Navy can be forced to cancel training operations to avoid exposure to Navy personnel. Lawmakers say the challenge now is making sure the money is being spent in the right places. Border pollution was one of the topics when Mayor Kevin Faulkner of San Diego met with the mayor of Tijuana. Today, the two leaders talked about a bunch of different topics, including border weights, cross-border crime. The mayors agreed to work together on those problems. The sewage problem has been costly for Tijuana businesses, too. Both the Mexican and U.S. governments have set aside millions of dollars, as we've been talking about, to try to fix that infrastructure problem south of the border. Okay. How about your weekend forecast? Here's Dagmar. You're looking at an absolutely spectacular Saturday. We are in between wind events, no Santa Ana's, no blustery onshore weather, which will arrive later Sunday through Monday, but your Saturday is fantastic. The coast will reach the upper 70s, the inland valleys. You will be sitting pretty in the mid 80s under mostly sunny skies, start to finish mountains, mid 60s, not even dealing with any winds up there, slight breezes, sunshine from sunrise to sunset. The deserts may be a passing high cloud, but temperatures in the low 80s, it will be beautiful in all four forecast zones. Your Saturday is the warmest day of the weekend. Sunday, cooling off. Monday, a chance for showers. Today, the military officially unveiled the new F-35 fighter based at MCAS Miramar. After years of production delays, cost overruns, safety concerns, the aircraft is finally here. The fighter jet has a price tag of $103 million. The F-35C will eventually phase out the F-A-18s that have flown over Miramar for a long time now. Today's event included a flight simulator to give people an up-close experience of what it feels like inside that aircraft. The F-35C brings another level of capabilities to our naval air forces that uh, puts us not just on par with developing threats around the world, but vastly exceeds it. The plan is to have 75 of the fighter jets based at Miramar over the next 10 years. One of Santee's oldest parks is set to reopen Saturday after a year-long $10 million renovation. Those upgrades include making Mast Park safer. The city added more lights and leveled the park so that sheriff's deputies can basically see everything when they monitor it. Mast Park had been known for two unique features, its off-leash dog park and disc golf course, both did get a facelift. The park's restroom, shade pavilion, and basketball court also have been replaced with modern facilities. There's also a new concession stand at the park. Mass Park in Santee reopens at 11 a.m. tomorrow. That is our nightly check-in here on the NBC7 app. We are live on TV every night at 6 and 11. And for the latest on the coronavirus, as well as the many travel restrictions now in effect, and some fun stuff too, be sure to check out NBC7.com and our mobile app and the news at 11. See ya.